There was once a river called Pampana. It was a Princeton brook sprouting from Lake Somfo, flowing to the Taya and Moa River, bringing succor and sustenance to the people living along its trail. At its puberty, the Pampana River was our Nile, teeming with life and culture to enthral minds. It ran like blood in the estuaries of the land, connecting the limbs of the country. Hi, I am Umar Farouk Sisi, a poet, playwright, and journalist. This is my five minutes with Sweet Salon. Currently, the president of Penn Sierra Leone and national coordinator for the Sierra Leone Writers Guild. I have been a writer for quite some time now. And uh, first, I started writing poetry way back at high school, or rather, I was forced to write it. I was uh, asked to write a poem for a school magazine that never really came into fruition. That was then when I was in government secondary school for boys, Magburuk, I was in form three. And the poems I have now, as I speak, after my first collection of poems, this is Salute to Remains of a Peasant. I've also written Broken Metaphor, another collection, and with over 100 poems in it. I have also written The Edge of a Cry, in fact, the interesting thing about the edge of the cry, there is a poem in the edge of the cry titled Song of the Women of My Land. That poem is now in the West African exam syllabus. It will be there for a period of five years. Then after Edge of a Cry, I've also written Twisted Before the Twisted Rib, published by Sundiata Publishers. And the last one that has just been published this year is 400 Years of Servitude, published by the Israelian Writer series. In fact, the Writer series happens to be the major publisher for my work, apart from this that was done by American publishers back then. People don't know that I feel more lucid and brilliant to write in the early hours of the morning. And I also, when I find myself in like a, a writer's block, if I want to inspire myself, I sometimes play loud music and mostly music coming from languages that I don't even know the meaning of the language. Another thing people might not know about me can be shy at times. And for I can't act. I've tried before to go on stage. I can write plays, but I can't act. I have tried that several times. I know I can't. And the last one, I feel alive when I am with other writers. You know, and I feel alive when I'm in any creative scenery of any kind, be it writing or performing art or people just playing drums. I get inspired and I feel like being in the mood to create when I am in the presence of other people creating. From within Sierra Leone, I would love to collaborate with uh, Mohammed Sharif, is an eminent um, playwright in this country and a theater practitioner. And uh, in the area of poetry, I would love to collaborate with um, Elizabeth Kamara, lecturer at Rubik College, particularly in a masterpiece anthology of poetry. Internationally, I would love to see this play, The Throne, be made into a movie. So I'm thinking of finding a route to get in touch with um, Idris Elba, a Sierra Leonean who is in the movie business. Now, internationally, I would love to collaborate with him and uh, also Vicky Remo for her, you know, media presence and her creative you know, potentials and all. Those are the people I would love to collaborate with in order to pursue, you know, the, the, the arts in this country. My favorite poem is definitely for now is um, there was an Eden, a poem that deals with the environmental degradation that is going on in the country. And my favorite play for now is uh, The Throne. The Throne is the most anticipated play of the season. After decades of absence, finally... <laughs> Live Theatre returns to the City Hall, written by Sierra Leonean poet, writer and journalist Mr. Omar Farouk Sisse. My favorite Sierra Leonean dish is boiled soup. Sand, uh, cream, cream, but boiled soup is in the top of the list. Like blood in the estuaries of the land connecting the limbs of the country. 
in our youth, we swam and drank its water.